Good morning children. Glad to meet you again today. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. Taken from Journey to God's Promised Land book written by Pastor Maralab Sagala. Our topic for today is to destroy it red completely. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you Lord for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us. Thank you Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Numbers chapter 21 verse 3. It says, The Lord listened to Israel's plea and gave the Canaanites over to them. They completely destroyed them and their towns, so the place was named Harma. The victory of the Israelites in destroying the Canaanites, the land of Arad, was God's victory. For it is God who gave the Canaanites and their cities into the hands of the army of Israel. It was the fulfillment of God's promise to the Israelites. God promised the nations success in conquering the inhabitants of Canaan with his help. When the king of Arad intercepted the Israelites while crossing the road of Ethorim, the king of Arad scares the nation by taking some of the Israelites as captives. The people prayed for God's help. They vow in their petitions. They promised to destroy the cities of the land of Arad to their demise if God gave the nation to their hands. A request accompanied with a vow is a sincere request. The nation of Israel was actually a nation that often complained to God because of their unbelieving spirit. But when sincere requests to God were made, God answered and fulfilled their request. God doesn't refuse the request of a sinner when he comes asking sincerely. And the nation kept their will to destroy all the cities of the land of Arad. Children, likewise, in our life experience, God will surely give us victory in the face of any difficulty as long as we ask earnestly and keep our promises. Let us come to God to ask Him for help us in every difficulty and trouble of our life. This is the end of our morning worship. May the Lord bless all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen.